Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. And if you are new here, welcome to Marisa's Moonlit Creations. So in today's video, I am going to be making a piece of altar art and it is Bridget's Flame. Now I know in bulk was on February 2nd. I'm actually filming this on February 3rd, but I still want to honor Goddess Bridget and make some altar art. So I have my materials here. I'm gonna go over them in a second. So let's get started with the Bridges Flame project. Okay, I am back. So of course, first of all, we have my drawing. Um, it is some Arteza watercolor pencils and some markers some like fine tip markers i think i really like the way this came out very very cool and textured the cauldron is glowing and bridget's flame is kind of like sorry i cut myself um it was just kind of hovering over the cauldron we have some dried flowers i had these in my home and they just remind me of flames so i am gonna um embellish the frame with the flowers i'm gonna take them apart we also have some specialty papers now these were kind of some of my choices i had because I, I wanted to add a little touch of green like the beginning of spring so i had this mirror card but i thought that was a little too much and i had this one which i almost chose but then in the end, I really like this paper here. I think it just complements the drawing um, so much better. I already pre-cut it already. I am prepared today, y'all. And my band-aid is coming off. I actually cut my finger on the glass. So here's the glass to the frame. And I actually cleansed it with my in bulk um, altar wash because it is going on my altar. So I said, you know what, let me actually cleanse the, fr the frame itself. So I took out what was in there. I actually don't mind this cute little lemon um, print. So I'm actually gonna keep that, but we're gonna take this off my table for now. Get rid of that. So this is the cardboard. So I'm just gonna attach that in a second. And what I did do already was I used some of these Tonic Studio Drops in the white and in the green. Now the green, I wanted to um, represent just the beginnings of spring. It's still February, it's still cold out, but it just has a little touch of green to represent the beginnings of spring. And then I use the kind of, the it's kind of clear, it's crystal drops. It's like a clear, and that represents the icicles. So I put that on the top and on the bottom of the frame. Now, the other thing I wanted to add, I have my glue gun here, is um, this is actually the branches of these flowers here. It was very, very long. So instead of just chucking them, I am going to embellish the frame with those as well. So I am going to turn my camera the other way and we are going to put this whole project together. All right, guys, I am back. So what I did was I use some of this double sticky tape. I think I actually got this in the Dollar Tree. I don't know if I, I think I, this is the one I got the Dollar Tree, maybe Tonic Stews, either one. It's really good. So I just pre, the pre-cut sheet here, it's so pretty. I love, and I love the texture of it. Look how gorgeous that is. It has like the flowers or the leaves. So there is the cardboard. And then I just put on some double sticky, I put on the double sticky tape on my drawing. So I'm just gonna take it off real quick. If I can get it off, come on you. Yeah, I cut my finger, not too badly on that glass. That um, frame is from the Dollar Tree, so that glass is not um, the best, obviously. But, I just have to be careful. All right, 
So make sure it's in the right position here. I really like the way this came out. Here's like just a little close up here. All right, so I want, I already decided, because I was gonna put it in the center here, but that didn't look right to me. I just want to eyeball it, because I am not one that measures. Actually, that's pretty good. Okay. It's a little bit more on this side, but I'm not a perfectionist. So, there that is. Cool. Okay. So, next we have to carefully take the Z glass. Let's see. You know what? I am going to be right back. I just want to set the glass in off camera because it's really sharp on the edges and I just want to concentrate and I literally cut my hands off. Okay, I will be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. It worked out. This is what it looks like. I just wanted to be, I wanted to be really careful with this glass because uh, it is, you know, a cheaper frame, but even though it's, I kind of like it. I'm not one for gold, but I like this kind of distressed look to it and it just I saw the I saw that frame and I thought I already had a plan to do something for in bulk so now we're gonna take the sticks first all right let's see yeah it's pretty much across from end to end my glue gun is already heated okay do that. Let's get that down there. Okay, cool. I'll check it to make sure it's secure and add glue as needed. Okay, I don't think I may need much more. Put that down. That uh, glue gun doesn't stand up very well. That's why I just took my little pad so I don't burn anything or any cloth. Oh, that's on very well. All right, cool. So that is that part. So I want to add some nature in there. And almost it's like kindling for the fire of the flame. Okay, I knew where I was going with this. I just didn't, I don't, sometimes I don't know how to verbalize it, but like I see it in my mind. So, next step is I broke apart the flowers. These came in many different pieces, but I wanted to keep this uh, section um, in one piece. So, what I did do was I had some green, like florist wire. So I, and that's perfect because I add just a touch more green to the project. Please tell me if you think this camera is better because my, I got a new phone and this camera is amazing. All right. I'm just impressed with the camera and the technology. I'm not trying to brag at all. I'm very grateful. So now. Let's see how I want. I want it to kind of like fill up the space up here. Ah, yeah, that's it. All right. Just trying to figure out a placement. Okay. Put that down. All right. So. May not do what I want, but I'll figure it out. And a little more glue. Okay. Great. Just gonna add a little glue up here. All right. Just to keep the some of the flowers down, and I just burnt my fingers, but. I'm a beast. Cut my hands. All right. 
All right, that's cool. Awesome. I, I'll get those strings off later. I'm trying to get the strings off my fingers because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I touched the glue, but all right. And the last bit, I'm gonna take that string off. Okay. Yeah, cool. All right, last bit. Okay, let's just start off like that. you down there. And I may cover up this little glue. Uh, if I find something else to cover that glue up, I will. Um, I don't have any, I do have Spanish moss, but I would like more green. I don't have that. Whoops. So that is all good. But you can't see it that much. I'm just gonna hold that down for a second. All right, so I'm gonna take the little pieces off. I'm gonna come back and show you up close. Hey guys, I am back. So here is the final project. I really, really love the way this came out. I am so happy to be sharing with this sharing this with you and celebrating the goddess Bridget and here is Bridget's flame right here it smells so good this is from my magical folk um, in bulk box anyway guys I hope that you enjoyed I hope that you too celebrate the beginnings of spring I am a spring baby so I'm really excited for spring not a summer chick definitely not but I love spring. I can't wait to get my garden started again. That's what I want for my birthday. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's project. I love this. I can't wait to put this on my altar. I just love the way this came out. I'm really, really happy with it. This is my first handmade um, altar art that I made myself. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching today and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.